Bid all praises be to the Creator, all power to His people. In the name of Yahshua, the Black Revolutionary Messiah, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the spirit of truth and the words of peace. Shalom Aleichem. Giving a special salute to the Black Messiahs, our motto is stop waiting for a Savior and be one. Stop waiting for a Savior and be one. This morning, brothers and sisters, coming from the scripture, coming first from the book of Isaiah, third chapter, beginning with the sixth verse. When a man should take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, you have clothes, you, you be our ruler, and let this ruin be under your hand. And that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be a healer. For in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not ruler of the people. Coming from the gospel according to Matthew 24th chapter. 38th verse. For in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. Last scripture of the morning coming from Luke, the gospel according to Luke. Sixteenth chapter, beginning with the twenty eighth, twenty seventh verse. Then he said, "I pray you, therefore, Father, that thou would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers that may testify that he may testify to them, and let lest they come to this place of torment." Abraham said to them, "They have Moses and the prophets; let them hear them." And he said. No, Father Abraham, but if one went to them from the dead, they will repeat. And he said to them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though, though he rose from the dead. This morning, brothers and sisters, dealing with the subject, playtime is over. Playtime is over is over these all these scriptures point to a season when the people were playing they did not see destruction coming they refused to see the rain when Noah was building the ark they refused to see the destruction of Israel they were too busy playing but when it was time for destruction, they were looking for someone to save them. They were playing all the way up until a, a, a kickoff time, not taking it serious. Till game time. Till stuff got real. They were playing, not taking it serious. And then when the clouds started darkening, when the rain started falling, they wanted to get on the ark, but it's too late. This morning, my brothers and sisters, dealing with the subject, playtime is over. We are on the verge of something in this country. Some people say civil war, civil unrest, something is coming. The handwriting is on the wall that something is about to happen. The former president of the United States, Donald Trump, they say it was an assassination attempt yesterday. To the degree, I'm not going to argue. Whether it happened 
or people saying conspiracy, I ain't going to argue that either. What I am going to talk about is how it's going to be used to mobilize the his forces. It's going to be used to mobilize his forces. I think it was Alambe Braff who said, never let a good tragedy go to waste. Never let a good tragedy go to waste. William Cooper, in his book, Behold the Pale Horse, he said, to paraphrase, it's not important whether you believe it. What is important is they believe it. And I will add, not only do they believe it, they're going to act on it. The clap back is coming. The clap back is coming. They've already targeted Maxine Waters. They were just waiting for an excuse, waiting for their season to come for the clap back. Now they feel all the evil in their heart, they feel justified to do. They feel justified to do, but we are dancing to sexy red. We are on TikTok. When those of us are out there trying to raise the consciousness of our people and hand out books, some of y'all just sit in your air conditioned homes and say, them folks ain't, ain't going to read them books and our people ain't going to study. But now you want people to get serious. Now that it's crunch time, you want people to get serious. The scriptures teach us. Yahshua gave a parable about Lazarus. The poor man who was struggling, doing the best he can, suffering all through life. And there was a rich man just enjoying himself. They both wound up in hell. <clears throat> they saw Abraham. The rich man said, Can you please have Lazarus, the good man, give me some water? Abraham said, No. When you were out there playing, you didn't think about the poor. You didn't think about Lazarus. Now the church time has come. Now you're in hell. You want somebody to comfort you. <clears throat> he said, yeah, maybe it's too late for me. But can you send Lazarus to warn my five brothers so they won't suffer the same fate that I suffered. Abraham said, no. They got Moses and the prophets. If they don't listen to them, they ain't going to listen to Lazarus. Or the scripture said, if they don't listen to the prophets that are among them, they ain't going to listen to one who rose from the dead. What am I saying, brothers and sisters? Now that it's crisis time, Lazarus could stand for not the poor, but the poor righteous teachers. Lazarus could stand for the poor righteous teachers who have been sacrificing themselves to teach y'all the truth, and you would not listen. While the poor righteous teachers like Lazarus were out there in the highways and the by byways, you turned your nose up at them. Now you're, you're panicking. If, if we don't study uh, 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 the, um, 
that 20, project 2025, we all going back in slavery. If somebody would have told you a month ago, you need to read a book about something called Project 2025, you would have laughed at them. Well, brother, you know I'm in school and uh, I got a job and uh, I really ain't got time right now, brother. Well, sister, brother, sister, uh, will you come to a study group? We're, we're discussing the, 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 the think tanks and the Heritage Foundation and uh, the Manhattan Institute and all these other think tanks who are putting policies together. Can you come to a meeting, brother or sister? Well, brother, you know I'm going to be there. See them next week. Well, brother, this came up and that came up. I'll be there next week. Next week comes, still don't show up. Well, brother, keep quit bothering me. I ain't got time for that. But now, you want everybody to be automatic, become scholars overnight, be expert on a 900 page document where you wouldn't even read five pages and you wouldn't even help go to a study group last week. The human brain does not function like that. We can't expect our people to be TikTok minded on Monday and scholars on Tuesday. We can't expect our people to be social media comedians on Monday but overnight become scholars. Now you want to know about the Heritage Foundation. Dr. Asa Hilliard told you 20, 30 years ago to read this book, The Power of Ideas by Lee Edwards, the Heritage Foundation at 25 years. Dr. Asa Hilliard warned you 20, 20, 30 years ago to read this book. Another book called, is called Citizen Cause. Now you, you, you're doing like um, you used to do in, 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 in high school. You don't study or college. You don't study all semester. You don't play all semester. You don't went out and party all semester. They ain't went to class but three times. Now it's exam time. You got to stay up all night and try to uh, cram it all in in one night. It doesn't work that way. Kwame Ture taught us about continuous protracted struggle. Continuous protracted struggle. Nipsey Hussle tried to tell you this ain't a race, it's a marathon. This ain't a race, it's a marathon. We can't go to our people one day out of the year. And, well, I went on the block last as a march and I talked to the people. I went on the block last March and I spent an hour out there talking to the people. And we want to ride on that for the rest of the year. Spending one hour doing political education on the ground per year does not match the power of the Heritage Foundation. These people, the Heritage Foundation, they don't stop. They have scholars working 24-7 to put together policies. Poli and you think you can do political education or sit in with somebody doing political education. Just show up once a year. And you're going to defeat a, a multi-million dollar think tank. Powered by cores and other folks.
Yahshua said in the days of Noah, they were marrying him, having a good time. Then the rain came. Then the rain came, and when it started drizzling, nobody pro probably paid attention. It probably wasn't till the, yeah, it, it'll stop, it's just a sun shower, but when the rain looked like it wasn't going to stop and it started getting up to the next, then they wanted to get on the ark. The rich man told Lazarus, told Abraham, asked him, begged him, can you send Lazarus, the poor righteous teacher, to warn my brothers? Abraham said, they got Moses and the prophets. If they ain't listen to them, they ain't going to listen to him. We got all the scholars have been told us what was going to happen. The scholars we read every day Ben told us what was going to happen. Samuel Yeti, the choice, the issue of black survival in America. Ben told us what was going to happen. Miss Education of the Negro, Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Ben told us what was going to happen. Chancellor Williams, destruction of black civilization, Ben told us what was going to happen and laid out plans that we should be doing to counter what was going to happen. We too busy playing. Now the rain comes. And you're going to start running to the people who you didn't listen to yesterday. So to the activists, don't worry about the people. They're coming. They will have no choice when you are their only option. They will have no choice. Don't worry about the people. They're going to come. They ain't got nowhere else to go. John the Baptizer out there in the wilderness preaching that the end is near. One day the Pharisees and the Sadducees showed up. He asked them, O oh, generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Playtime is over, brothers and sisters. Playtime is over. Get ready for the wrath to come. As always, we leave the Black Messiah motto, stop waiting for a savior and be one. Shalom.